Welcome to Quick History Facts, where we bring you the stories of the most intriguing characters from our past. Today, we delve into somewhat of a personal relationship to me. We will look at my 17th great-grandmother's story. The life of Elizabeth Woodville, also known as the White Queen, who captured the heart of King Edward IV during the turbulent Wars of the Roses. Elizabeth was born into a politically influential family in England in 1437. She was the first child of Richard Woodville, a wealthy and influential member of the gentry, and Joquetta, a member of the royal family of Luxembourg. Her mother's royal connections gave her access to some of the most powerful people in England. It is said that Elizabeth inherited her mother's intelligence and charm, which would serve her well in her later life as queen. She also inherited her father's political savvy, which allowed her to navigate the treacherous waters during the Wars of the Roses and maintain her position as queen even after her husband's death. Elizabeth's first marriage was to a knight named Sir John Grey, and she had two sons with him. However, Sir John was killed fighting for the Lancastrians in the Wars of the Roses. After her husband's death, Edward and Elizabeth met in 1464 when Elizabeth sought Edward's help in reclaiming her late husband's property. Legend has it that Edward was immediately smitten with Elizabeth and proposed marriage to her, but she refused his advances. However, Edward was determined to marry Elizabeth, and he reportedly persisted until she finally agreed to marry him in secret. The exact circumstances of their marriage are unclear, and there is some debate among historians about whether they were truly married in secret or whether the marriage was simply kept secret for political reasons. Regardless, their marriage caused a scandal at court as it was seen as inappropriate for a king to marry a commoner. Edward was involved in the Wars of the Roses during their marriage, which were a series of battles between the Yorkists and the Lancastrians for control of the English throne. Elizabeth's family was on the Lancastrian side, which put her at odds with her husband's Yorkist family. Edward IV remained devoted to Elizabeth, and they had ten children together. Despite any challenges, Edward and Elizabeth's marriage lasted until Edward's death in 1483. Elizabeth's life changed dramatically after his death. She was forced to seek sanctuary with her remaining children, including her daughters Elizabeth and Cecily, in Westminster Abbey. Their eldest son, Edward V, was only 12 years old at the time of his father's death and was set to inherit the throne. However, Edward's brother, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, seized power and declared himself King Richard III. Richard had Edward V and his younger brother, Richard, imprisoned in the Tower of London. She pleaded with Richard III to release her son from the Tower and to recognise him as the rightful king, but Richard refused. Elizabeth eventually agreed to support the rebellion of Henry Tudor, who was a distant Lancastrian claimant to the throne, against Richard III. Henry Tudor was successful in defeating Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485 and became King Henry VII. Elizabeth's sons, who were known as the Princes in the Tower, were presumed dead and never seen again. Henry VII married Elizabeth's daughter, Elizabeth of York, to unite the rival houses of York and Lancaster. Elizabeth Woodville was allowed to leave sanctuary and was granted a pension from Henry VII. She lived out the rest of her life quietly and is believed to have spent her later years in Bermondsey Abbey. She died in 1492 and was buried next to her husband, King Edward IV, in George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Elizabeth Woodville's life was one of political intrigue, scandal, and perseverance. She went from a grieving widow to a queen who influenced the course of English history. 
Her legacy lives on to this day as one of the most fascinating and enigmatic figures of medieval England. Thank you for watching our channel. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date with our history videos.